Dolphins are what we call charismatic megafauna, which means that people view them as charismatic. People get excited about some animals more than they get excited about others. One, two, three, big circle! But that's okay because then we can use that to get them to conserve uh, in general. So if we're conserving the dolphins, that means we're conserving their habitat, which means we're conserving all of the animals that live in that habitat as well. Hi guys. My name is Dr. Kelly Yakala. I am a cognitive researcher, uh, right now works with dolphins. You wanna do a high five? No? This one? You can't really reach. I know it's hard to reach up here. You know, for other people, they might get inspired by the dolphin's beauty or their athleticism, etc. Oh, no! Very nice! Oh, I know! Oh, you want to come play too? What do you think? For me, it was watching them think. Wow! Now it's your turn. Now it's your turn. So, Dolphin Research Center is a nonprofit research and education facility in the Florida Keys. And there are a number of questions that uh, you can't answer in the wild. You'll see situations where they seem to be cooperating. They seem to be doing the same thing at the same time. But you can't tell from just looking at that whether or not they're understanding cooperation or if they're just doing something at the same time. Alrighty, you guys ready? Any sort of facility has to have a way of supporting their animals. And for us, that largely comes from the visitors that walk through the door. One of the big roles that marine mammal facilities play is getting people to make a connection in order to conserve and then care. And it's that moment of connection that's the start of conservation mindedness. You know, it's fine to give people information. Information is great, but that information is only useful if people care enough to actually go out and do something. You guys want to kiss my camera? Are you ready? Can you do some kissing for the camera? Oh, you're kind of behind me.